Hello everyone, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And it's been a minute. I had to uh, take care of myself this week and I wanna thank you so much for all the kind comments, uh, wishing me, you know, to get better. Uh, sometimes, you know, you just gotta listen to your body when your body says, you need to take a break, you just gotta listen to it. So uh, I do feel bad not getting a video out uh, in a while, but, I do have some lots of things coming in. So we're gonna do some eye candy uh, video today uh, featuring some really neat stuff from the Jesse James Beads website. And I believe I have more products coming from Jesse James Beads, which I'll share with you next week. Uh, but these particular items we'll probably be using uh, sometime this week, if not this week, next week, Definitely to Tutorial Tuesday material, uh, you'll see why. Uh, but let's get started. So I wanted to show off some of the, so one thing they're doing, and I will link everything in my description, but one of the things they're doing is they're bringing in a lot more chain. So first I wanna start off with this really gorgeous metal chain. It's called Sparkle Shine Gunmetal rhinestone chain and if you got the bargain bead box you know we just had uh metal in the gun metal which is not something i use but this also works nicely with silver so but if you have that box this gun metal chain would be really nice with it um and it's got these beautiful rhinestones uh let's see you get about 15 inches or so and you can take these apart, use them as drops. You can just hang dangles off of it. You can make a, a tassel with this, which is pretty cool. Um, I love their chain. I, I always love their chain reaction as well, but this is really neat and I love the sparkliness of it. So we've got this and then they also sent me some metal chain in Mother, Mother Sun Bright Gold. Oh, now this chain, just so you know, is ten forty nine. But keep in mind, you can do a lot with it. And then this chain is three ninety nine, and it's got a nice cadence to it. It's got some bigger links, and then it's got little links interspersed, and they're a little bit twisted. Also, you can take this apart and do a lot with it. And it's just a nice sturdy gold chain and this is quite a bit um let's see definitely maybe a yard let's see we've got 12 inches i didn't measure these before the meeting before the meeting listen to me last week i had so many meetings at my day job so i'm like meeting out <laughs> yeah this is over three feet and it's 399 so some chain options for you. And just to mention also, in addition to these, they have a lot of leather now. So if you like the leather I used, um, I think it was a project or so ago, I know they have leather um, that they're bringing in and that's always a cool option also. So we've got our chain here. And then they're also in, uh, expanding their findings. So we have some really pretty brass toggle clasps, a set of three, and this is $4.99 on the website. This is called Mayan Gold, but I, it looks brass to me, but I like the detail, and you don't always have to use toggles like toggles. You can make that a focal and hang things off of it. I've seen people do really interesting things with the toggle clasps. Um, sometimes they'll hang them in the front. So that's an option. Lots of findings. And then speaking of findings, I love this. This is a magnetic clasp. And it is called, what is it called? Modern Art Mixed Media Pendant. No, that's not it. <laughs> Sorry. Magnetic clasp in Galaxy Far, Far Away. How could I forget that? I love Star Wars. Galaxy Far, Far Away in black. 
magnetic is very, uh, the magnet is very strong. I love these on bracelets because they're just so pretty. You want to show them off. Um, and I don't think I've done a tutorial with a magnetic clasp, so maybe that might be a tutorial Tuesday. I love the sparkle. What a fun thing to wear. You know, I know it's a little soon right now, but being that it's black, you could do something really cute for Halloween with this. Um, and don't forget our graphic ideas with the black and white. This would be like a really cool graphic type piece. And like I said, the, the clasp is very strong. I have to really pull. So if you're leery of that, I'll just let you know. They These are very high quality. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. Very pretty. Galaxy, far, far away. And then here is the pendant, the Modern Art Mixed Media pendant. I think this is so cool. I kind of think of uh, mid-century modern. Um, Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright might wear this. <laughs> um, I love the metal and the wood together and the stepped technique. It kind of looks a little Aztec also. And you could, oh, it twists, look at this. So if you are somebody that likes to fidget with your jewelry, this would be fun because you could be twisting this all day long. These are actually hollow, some of these. Uh, you could even not, you know, hang this way, but maybe hang this way. That would be interesting and do some drops. We'll have to play with that. But this is um, very interesting. I really like it. And also I love the metal and the wood together. So. That would be a very interesting necklace to mix some metals and some woods. And you've got this gunmetal in here again, as you can see. So maybe we'll have to combine these in some way. And maybe some little pops of color, we'll see. Definitely another color theory thought to play with. We really haven't done much with wood, but I mean, I consider it a neutral, like I do the metals. So you really, you could do anything. Wheels are turning. And then also in our neutral palette, they are now also expanding their check beads on the Jesse James Beads website. And these are check 19 by 13 gray crystal twists. So I, I think we've seen this twist before, but I've not seen it in this deep gray. It's almost a blue gray. I mean, like a steel blue. Be pretty with blue, but you get quite a few. I did not count these, but you get a lot. And uh, these are $11.99 on the website. Pretty cool. And this gray go with everything. And I love the shape. In fact, I wonder, you could mix them with this and this, and then maybe put in some pops of color. Although, I mean, this neutral, this would go with anything you wear in, throughout fall and um, winter. If you're a neutral gal, you don't want to wear a lot of color. Some people don't, and that's totally fine. You may have a friend that, or a family member that likes to just wear, you know, just a pendant and a chain. And I mean, this is an interesting pendant. So just a thought there. So there's our crystal um, check twists in gray. Check crystal gray twist. Say that a hundred times. <laughs> Like I said, you get a lot. Look how many. It really fills up my little trays. I really almost need two trays for these. So a good amount for that $11.99. Um, you could do a lot. You could do a necklace, a bracelet, and earrings probably with these. That may be something to explore. Do a neutral gray with some pops of color. Wheels are turning. And speaking of pops of color, so... One of the deals they have uh, right now this summer is you can get um, a mix. It's a bead special mix 
multicolor. I think it's uh, random. You don't pick the items, but there you can either get five strands for thirty nine dollars or ten strands for seventy four dollars. And it is they're really gorgeous strands. So I'm going to show you a sampling of what I got, and then we'll talk about them. So this is what I got. These are the this is the thirty nine dollar five strand deal. And you can get these, I mean, this is a good special because these are usually 12 and up or 15 and up. And as you can see, you've got a wide, wide variety. So let's take a look at some of these. So we'll start with this one. This actually, I recognize, I believe we got this in one of the most recent mystery bead boxes and it has this really cool bead with the shells in it. It's a resin bead and really big uh, bead caps. And then it's got this gorgeous rondel and then the crushed shell boho beads, the caged beads that are real big. You got another big bicone and some more bead caps. And then I love this with the wire. This is a really cool strand. This is called Sandy Shores. And again, if you get this special, they pick them for you. Um, I think it's just a matter of what's available. And I do see they do try to get some things that coordinate. So in saying that, I got this strand, which looks like one of the goddess strands from way back. Um, some of these beads look familiar. It may not be an exact goddess strand, but I recognize these patina beads. I think they were in a mix. Um, if you ever purchased any of their goddess uh, products, those were quite a few years ago, but what a gorgeous collection. And you've got some pottery in here, more bead caps, a beautiful crystal bead, beautiful boho bead, this gorgeous patina bead. I love that um, seafoam green. I just think it's so pretty, especially with that brass. And then you've got Another boho bead with little, looks like little chunks of clay. Another ceramic bead. Another crystal. Another one of these patina beads. Another crystal. All of these have bead caps. Another one of those gorgeous boho beads. I mean, that is a gorgeous strand. You really could just string that and be done. But you could mix these two. These kind of coordinate. So you could throw in, we may play with that. I may play with that tomorrow, actually. We're gonna have our color theory class. Um, and this is, just got that little bit of pink, I mean, green in it. Maybe we'll throw in some more of the stuff from the bargain bead box, possibly. We'll see. Uh, and I, I see they're getting ready to send another one, Bargain Bead Box, so that's gonna be interesting to see what what opportunities we have for our color theory. <laughs> and then, look at this pink. Does this have a name? I think it just says Glass Strand. But you've got this gorgeous square bead, coin bead in the pink, those little I love these little spacer beads that are, we're calling them potato chip beads. Another caged bead, another really gorgeous uh, round crystal bead. Look at this with the wire around it, this pearl. Isn't that interesting? Makes me want to pull out my wire. I've got some pearls. We're going to have to do something like that too. I want to try to play with that. And I love this too. I don't know how you do, I mean, I kind of, I, I'm gonna have to experiment. We may have to do an experimental class on wire one day and just see what happens. But I really wanna try this. This is really neat. And then really pretty, I guess it's an octagon, hexagon, octagon. And look, there's just the tiniest rondelles in there. And then goes back to your pink and in talking with the color theory, the pink and the green, you know, that's red and green, pretty much opposites on the color wheel. So you could mix these. 
super easy. So, so far, gorgeousness. That's making me happy. And then if that weren't enough, we've got this tide pool strand. I'm gonna move these over just so we can take a look at just that strand. We'll pull them all back in in a minute. This is a gorgeous strand too. I love all the blues. And you do have some neutrals in here, like this frosty rondelle, big, big bead caps. Love that ceramic shape, kind of an urn shape. Another gorgeously faceted crystal bead. Love these big hole beads and the rhinestone rondelles. Quite a variety of findings in here with this, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous colorway. I love the very light blue with the cream and the very bright kind of aqua marine color. And then this very watery blue beautiful colorway. And I think the neutrals really pick up the gold. The gold, the gold and the neutrals do something very neat with the blue, I think. But you could certainly mix silver in there as well. So lots to play with. So these strands are really high quality. This uh, deal for the, the five for 39 and the 10 for 74. And then this one is if you're into color, I would say this is your strand. You've got every color in the rainbow on here. Definitely opportunities for color play because you've got your orange and your blue complements. Fuchsia, and look at that fuchsia and that green together. Isn't that neat? And then you've got some purple and some yellow. You can mix these, of course. You could take, just do secondary colors with your green, your purple, and your orange. Look at that. Just those would make a cute earring. And look at those. And I love this. So this doesn't have a bead inside of it. It's the same idea as this guy, oops, but with no bead inside. It's hollow. So, if you're gonna use like a colored wire, like a soft flex, would be very cool with that bead. In fact, a bright soft flex color and just this, and let the soft flex wire show would make a cute earring. Maybe a little sparkle. Maybe you throw in a little rhinestone rondelle. But what a great, fun, happy, this is a very fun, happy strand. Whoops. Fun and happy. I don't think you I don't think you can look at this and not make you smile. It's adorable. So that one's very bright. The rest are pretty subtle, but they are stunning. And just look at this for $39. This this plate of gorgeousness. That looks yummy. Yummy yummy yummy. Fun for days. You can do a lot with these. So I will link all of these products in my description. Um, they are affiliate links. So if you click on them and you buy something, I get a little commission. That's just making you aware of it. But um, do check it out. I think you will be very happy. They have tons. They just put out a bunch of other things too, which are really cool. They put out a bunch of Hishi beads. Uh, those are the newest ones. And then we just had a summer camp and they have some things on sale from the summer camp, which I am still finishing up those projects and I will show them to you. I'm trying to get the rest of them finished in the next week so that um, A, I can earn my camp badge because they have camp badges. If you didn't know um, about the summer camp, they do camp badges and so we had stringing projects and we had wire work projects and uh, seed bead projects and we all have, you can earn badges like you did way back in the day in camp. And it was super fun. I had to work through most of it, unfortunately, um, but there were three classes a day for like four or five days. And uh, 
Brittany Chavers, if you watch her channel, she did a class. Wendy Whitman did a class. I know she has a channel and they have very good followings. Um, and then just a bunch of people from, let's see, Tierra Cast, Tracy Proctor from Tierra Cast, uh, Cindy Holt, if you do any kind of polymer clay, taught some polymer clay, Neele Patel, who does the silver silk, who is just adorable, did a class. So I'll get more into that when I, um, when I show you the projects that I, that we did, but it was super fun. And they're already, you know, talking about the next, the next set of things. I think they do something in the winter. It's called a winter workshop. And I recommend that. And then they do some little mini things that they combine with soft flex. And they do these really wonderful, like, I think they did a Halloween kit last year or fall. And then we had beads and blooms in the spring. So plenty of opportunity to learn, take some classes and get some really gorgeous beads. But anyway, these are available right now, these specials. And then this is new products. They're always coming out with new stuff. Like I said, I've got more coming. So I will be showing you more things. And we will probably use some of these in the coming weeks uh, to play with in our tutorials and our color theory stuff. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed all this. It is gorgeous. You know, you're not gonna, Jesse James being very high quality, so you cannot go wrong. And uh, I hope you'll think about it. Get yourself some five strand uh, eye candy to play with. And if not, maybe you wanna go a little more modern, get yourself a pendant. That's up to you. I just bring you what's available and you make the decision on what you wanna do with it. And as always, I appreciate you all so much. I do have the nicest subscribers, I have to say. And I mean that from the bottom of my pee-picking heart. And thank you again for the very kind comments. You all take care of yourselves and your families. Be safe. We will continue to pray for world peace. And I will see you on the next video.